Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're going to be looking at a Mauser in 9mm export. Uh, still a relatively early production variant of one of these. And this is sort of when Mauser was making them sporadically. They started making these right around the 50,000 serial number range. And this is in the 70,000 serial number range. So they hadn't been making them very long. They did seem to make them in very, very small numbers. There's not a lot of these floating around. And by World War I, they had stopped making any of these. So you'll see them starting in the early 50,000 serial number range. Uh, the first one I know of is actually serial number 50,001. Um, they're a very interesting gun in that they were made for sort of export to Africa, Asia, South America, and uh, anywhere but Germany, essentially. The cartridge was a 9 by 25 which was a unique cartridge that only fit, at this time, only fit the Mauser broom handle. And it was basically the 30 Mauser necked up to uh, 9 millimeter. And uh, these guns were pretty powerful. I know that a lot of hunters in Africa carried these as their backups. This is a very standard one that saw a fair amount of service. As you can tell, it's got a fair amount of wear and loss of the fire blue. You have your standard tangent sight out to a thousand meters. It is cut for a shoulder stock. Um, you have all your standard Mauser markings. Uh, nothing on this side other than your serial number up here your Mauser chamber, standard chamber marking here. Flip it over. And your standard Mauser marking right here. Uh, the panel milling is gonna be the same as what you would expect on a pre-war commercial gun. The fit and finish is typical of Mauser at this time. Uh, I'd say between about 1900 to about 1912 or 13, their guns, their, their broom handles anyway, were just truly superb uh, pieces of craftsmanship. Um, you have your standard wood serrated grips with your hammer, or I'm sorry, your trigger, magazine floor plate, and you have some strange marks underneath the barrel here. I believe them just to be uh, various factory codes and whatnot, nothing particularly amazing. This gun is outfitted with the standard front sight. And it's just a pretty interesting uh, nine millimeter export gun. They were obsolete you know, after World War One, certainly nobody was really making the ammunition in great quantities. Uh, however, the cartridge did have a resurgence of popularity in the 1930s, and that lasted through World War II. I believe some of the last commercial 9x25 was made in the 1960s uh, for some of the submachine guns that were still floating around. And this is sort of the gun that, that started the 9x25 cartridge, and unfortunately it's kind of just kind of forgotten. I've seen some sources say that these guns really didn't start being made until the 90 or 100,000 serial number range. Uh, this one definitely is a factory gun in 9 export. And we've done videos on some earlier ones even. So Mauser was making these in little drips and drabs. This one also has a uh, follower inside that is grooved for the straight 9mm cartridge. So it was a factory gun to be a 9mm. And since it predates Mauser using the 9 Luger, it is definitely not a 9 Luger. But uh, if you enjoy looking at strange and unusual guns, and even some very common guns, uh, we'll be doing more videos on firearms, helmets, and all kinds of interesting military stuff. So like, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, tell me if there's anything you'd like to see or ask a broom handle question, and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.